All right, it's time. DigiKey and Adafruit present. Hi on MPI. This week's Eye on MPI is from Ideal Tech, leading to what is the NPI new product introduction from Ideal Tech, brought to you by DigiKey this week. Okay, so you you heard me talk about Ideal Tech. Um, we've done tools by them before. They, um, they I think the wire strippers we did a couple months ago, and um, I saw this pop up, and I, I really like those wire strippers. So uh, they released an update to their PCB like rework stations. Um, so uh, this is what it looks like, um, and I've got one here, and I'll, I'll demo it live as well. So these are uh, PCB WeWork holders, um, and they're, they've got a lot of little details, right? So like, chances are you probably have a PCB vice or something, and they're, they're low cost and they're small. But if you're actually going into like doing production work and you have to do a lot of soldering, um, there's a lot of little details here that can save you a lot of time. Um, so start off, there's, um, these holders are available in three sizes, uh, which I will uh, colloquially call um, kind of large, big, and huge. So I got the smallest one, and it is still quite large. Um, they, they have multiple railings. They're, they're not designed for a single PCB. You're supposed to, or expected to, I think, put you know a, a panel of PCBs, or you put in 10 to 20 at a time because you're soldering or reworking a bunch of the same board all at once. Um, and so that's why they're so large, but uh, the largest also gives them a certain uh, strength, like they're um, easier to uh, work with because they're kind of heavy. Um, and that heaviness makes them stable. So just be aware that there's three in this series is the PCSA uh, holder series. Um, so what's interesting about this is that there's a lot of like hinges and I'll demo this live. It's, it's kind of even the data sheet, even though it's good, it's hard to really see um, what's going on. But there's basically these removable parts and these hinges. So you can move the work into a couple different positions. Um, it can be like upright completely, 80 degree angle, like, like 70 degree angle, and then uh, like a 30 degree angle and each angle has its own and like completely flat and each angle has its own like like rework speciality um so if you're like inserting connectors you might want to move it into one orientation insert all the connectors and flip it into another one um it's really well made um i really like the quality it's got uh steel that's painted it's got some aluminum um it's got some precision fit plastic um the th one of the things i really like about it is like there's a certain kind of detail to the precision of the parts that you can tell. Like when you're moving the railings, um, you know, they have these really nice thumb screws that just are very easy to loosen and very easy to tighten. Uh, same with like the hand screws, like nothing is hard to use. It's all like you can use even if you're wearing gloves or if you're like, you know, um, trying to do like three things at once. Um, and also when you're adjusting the railings, they don't get so loose that they are hard to position. Like they, you can loosen them just enough that you put them where you want they're a little bit stiff, so they, they don't move around, and then you tighten them to, to really fit them into place completely. So let's go to the overhead, because I want to show off um, the the thing, because it's, it's, it's big enough, and it's kind of complicated enough. So um, first off, um, so this, let me actually turn this around. This is how you normally mount it. I'll give myself a little bit more angle space here um, so these are the railings and um, you loosen them with these thumb screws and then these railings move up and down and so you know you can get extra railings if you want to include um, more hardware but like let's say I have this uh, you know panel of PCBs uh, in here is a groove so you can um, slot this into the groove here and into the groove there and then you know this has a little bit of play um, but then you put, you tighten the screws to, uh, to fix it in place. And then like, you know, this is now not moving, which is really good. Um, there's also this like hinge system. So, you know, you're not going to be able to see it as well, but basically I can position this in a couple different ways for easy rework. And then the thing that is really cool. So I'll show you what I really like about this. This is my, I think my favorite part. So this whole thing flips over. And then you're like, what is this like Swiss? What's going on with the Swiss thing? So this is the foam overlay holder. And this is what holds through whole parts together. And what's neat is that there's like this, there's this button here. And when you press this button, this just snaps right open. So you don't have to even unscrew it. So this, this foam piece comes out. This is anti-static foam. You can get replacement foam. And this is like, 
It's hard to explain, but it's just, it's firm but soft, right? It's like a it's like a it's like a mattress, you know. It's got a little bit of softness at the top, but then it's got this firm foam in between to give it, uh, you know, uh, strength. So what you want to do is, hold on. So let's say you're like, okay, I have to do a bunch of through hole soldering. So I'm just going to, you know, mimic it. I'm going to do one piece, but let's say I have to, you know, I'm making these cyber decks. Each one of them has a uh, header piece and the, the header has to be soldered in, you know, here. I would fill in all parts of the, um, the panel. Of course, I put six in. And then here's a common thing you've, you know, if you've soldered through whole parts, how do you turn it over to solder without the parts falling over? So sometimes you hold it with your finger and then your finger gets burned or you use like a piece of tape, but then you have to like deal with this tape. The tape comes loose, the thing comes askew, now you gotta rework it. So that's where the foam comes in. So the cool thing about the foam is once you've placed all of your through hole components and then, you know, of course this could have USB and ethernet and whatever headers you want. And then um, this foam piece slots in. So this, this little hooks into, this part hooks into place. And then that button, you remember I pushed that button, I push it again. And now the foam is down. And then I can just lift this, rotate it around, and then re-slot it in place. I'm going to give you a close-up of this. And now I can um, work on the board, and the foam is holding the um, through-hole pieces in place. And because the foam is just soft enough, it's not uh, yeah. shaking around. I'm going to just show. So because we did it, it made sense to show it on the top view so you can see things. But yeah. here's a side view. of. Oh, yeah. So I'll show. I'll sh if you can hold it carefully. Yeah. I'll show this rotates around. Oops. Do you want me to hold on to that? Or do you uh, want me to no, like this. Yeah. Thank you, kind assistant. And yeah. then this hooks into place, and then I push this button to release the foam holder. Yeah. And then this hook hooks out, and then you see that the through hole piece is perfectly, it's kept perfectly pressured in place, so you don't have that annoyance of like, even with USB connectors, you know, they snap in, but then they get a little bit loose, or like if you try to touch, you know, one corner at a time, it, it doesn't. It, it can be a little uneven. Yeah. This way, you get like perfect even pressure across all of your through hole components. So this is excellent, excellent, excellent if you're doing a lot of through hole soldering, because it, you, you can you place all the parts, you snap the foam over, you flip it over, right, and it's like it's very fast. There's no there's no work that you have to do with it, and then yeah. you um, can solder in all of your through hole parts all at the same time, uh, very very easily. So this is what it's really good for. It's also good for rework. But like the foam thing makes it like like mwah, perfect chef kiss for through hole components. Yeah, and it's available on DigiKey site. That's right. So they have uh, three different sizes, like I said. So the three sizes they're basically the same price. Um, there's only like maybe twenty bucks difference between them. So you know, get the one that's the right size for your boards and your panels. Not necessarily like, you don't have to worry about like oh I'm gonna get a smaller one because it's cheaper. They're basically the same price, so just get the one that's the right size for you. So, you know, I got the small one, and you can you can see how how big it is. It, it is it is quite large, but you know, by the time you insert a, a panel in it, you know, and yeah, it's not as big as you think. I'd say it's about the size of the uh, classic Dell laptops from the late nineties. Uh, it's totally got that. Yeah, the, it's the pizza box laptop size. It is actually, by the way, personal pan pizza. It's yeah. like a personal pizza size. Yeah, that's what it is. But so there not, you go. It's not too big, not too small. And I really like all the thumb screws, by the way, like good thumb screws, like yeah. they add a little bit more to the cost, but boy, is it worth it. So this is really, really nice. I'm going to hand this over to the, um, yeah. Do you think it'll, um, maintain pressure on parts if they're, uh, if they're different heights? Yes. That's why the foam is so good. The foam is just soft enough that it conforms over. So, so I'm not worried about different heights. It'll yeah. I think it'll be fine. I mean, look, if it's, if it's a short piece right next to a big piece, maybe not. But like for something, say like a Raspberry Pi, where you've got Ethernet and USB, and then you've got a header, I think it would be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and uh, short URLs there, and also the product ID that you can look it up on DigiKey site, 214PCASA1N and D. Look at this graphic And the short URL, d URL is digikey.com forward slash short forward slash b 5 n t p 2 j d And uh, this video is their um, tutorial video from their website. I have the sound turned off.
Yeah. Because it has a bunch of music, and that's problematic oh, that's on okay. YouTube. So um, I'm not going to play the whole thing, but they have some pretty good videos and resources on how to assemble it and how to use it. Yeah, and all the stuff that I just showed, if you want to see it, but um, done in a, on a large table um, by someone with really uh, nice manicure, uh, check out this video. It's on the Ideal Tech page. It's also on the DigiKey um, page. So if you go to the DigiKey site, you can see the um, yeah the, this video and, and watch it in all its glory. All right, and with that is on MPI. Hi on MPI.